All right, guys, if you can just do me a huge favor, and if you're on a phone or if you're able to see, there's like a little mute button, and I just, if everyone can do that, um, just because it's a little bit hard, there's background noise. I'm going to try and mute as many people as I can, but there are some that it will not let me, so. All right. <clears throat> Let me screen share here. All right, can you guys see this? Ashley's like, that's me! <laughs> All right, that's me. we are going to go ahead and get started, guys. Welcome, welcome to the team. We have some new coaches on, and I'm really excited. Um, my name is Deidre Penrose, and I'm the creator of Team Forever Fit. We've been around for three years now, and it's been a whole lot of fun, and our team is just growing and growing, and I'm really excited to do these shout-outs because this, literally, these shout-outs, this is the most people I've ever been able to shout out before at one time, so it's just like, it's so surreal to know that this stemmed from like one person taking a leap, and then another person that they found decided to take a leap and then it's just that compound effect and it's just it's such an amazing feeling to know where it comes from and the potential and opportunity that we have to change lives in so many different ways not just losing weight but like having a different lifestyle and helping people with financial freedom and even making a difference like with mentally and spiritually and emotionally i was just talking to one of my coaches today and she was like I would not have be I would not be doing so many things in my life if it wasn't for taking a leap from the body. And it's just so cool that it can change so many people in different ways. But I'm not gonna get all sappy on you guys because I could probably talk and end up crying because I'm just emotional and I'm not gonna do that to you guys. So um, before I do my sh our shout outs, I am just going to announce that we do have a special guest speaking today on our team call, and her name is Ashley Frida, and I'm hoping I'm saying Frida. Is that right? Okay, perfect. Ashley is actually one of Beth Bird's coaches, and she's an Emerald coach, soon to be more, because I know she's rocking her business over there. She has a lot going on, but she has a totally different style of coaching and I'm really excited to hear what she has to say because I think she's going to bring something new to the table that we don't hear quite often on on how to grow your business differently. I know um, people start coaching and then they build a blog and it's all focused around Beachbody, but hers is not focused all around Beachbody. Um, so Ashley is a photographer. She's a runner. And she is going to be talking about how to market without actually marketing. So she has a blog and it's awesome. And I love the fact that her blog is her photography business talks about running and it talks about her story and her lifestyle, of course, but her focus is also on Shakeology and she has a lot of retention with that. And a lot of people are afraid to talk about Shakeology, but that's like her thing. So I'm excited for her to talk and share some tips with us. So before she starts, I'm just going to quickly go through a couple things here. As I see quickly, you know, that never works because I talk a lot. So we'll start with our shout outs. <laughs> we have a whole lot of top producers here. And if you're not sure what top producers and where these numbers are coming from, basically, this is when you have your customers order something from you, you'll have volume yeah. from it. So this is your customer volume and then volume from your own personal orders as well. So it's those two things put together to get these numbers. So we have, Guy, if you can mute yourself, I tried to mute everyone, but I couldn't, couldn't reach everyone there. Sorry guys. There we go. Okay, cool. So we have Aaron Trail at 810. We have Megan Blinka at 687, Briar Willis at 675, Alicia Smith at 585, Sarah Griffith at 584, Melissa Brown at 555, Michelle Krill at 540. I think I just saw her on. Good job. Michael Gowan at 525, Marie Fry at 506, Regan Long at 506, Cheyenne Barton at 499. Beth Bird at 448, Kayla Mays at 480, Vanessa McLaughlin at 476, Brittany Albert at 465, 
Brianne Schaefer at 465, Misty Valentine at 450, Gia Ramos at four, uh, 420, Carrie Fleming at 416, Melissa Chavez at 405, and Stephanie Plumley at 405. Way to go. And then we also have some rank advancements. Our newest Ruby coach is Melissa Bueller. And then we have lots of new emeralds. We have Mary Caroline Combs. We have Alicia Black. We have Christina Lundy, Lindsay Burgess, Sophia Davis, Catherine McQuen, maybe? I hope I said that right. Christy Raskin and Daniel. Daniel Raskin. Awesome job, guys. Congratulations. And then the success club that I'm going to read off is actually finishing the month of February because since we kind of switched over from February to March, I just, I want to give these people a huge shout out because they literally worked their tails off last month and did an awesome job. I know we had the cup challenge, but we still had a tough month, but these people literally did an amazing job and I'm so proud of each and every one of you. So success club five and 10. At Success Club 10 and above, we have Cheyenne Barton at the very, very top at 19, Angela Greer at 18, Regan Long at 16, Stephanie Plumley at 14, Holly Whitworth at 13, Angela O'Connor at 12, Stacia Hubs at 12, Cindy Pickering at 12, Karen Phillips at 12, Heather Stanizek at 12, Aaron Trail at 12, Gia Ramos at 11, Erica Sisson at 11, Kayla Mays at 11, Megan Blinka at 11, Ashley Frieda at 11, Kara Curtis at 11, Jessica Brennan at 10, Sarah Griffith at 10, Kaylee Hearth at 10, and Samantha Malik at 10. And then Success Club 5 is Misty Valentine at 9, Melissa Chavez at 9, Caitlin Hawley at 8, Colleen Hook at 8, Caitlin Bixler at 8, Amanda Smith at 8, Michelle Murdick at eight, Rebecca no, 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 I'm not going to say it right. I'm going to butcher it. Novalia? No. You know what I mean. I'll get it right. Give me one call. I'll get it right the next one. At eight, Kendra Brooks at eight. We have Caitlin Reed at eight, Joy Smith at eight, Beth Bird at eight, Christopher Shank at eight. Melissa Peters at seven, Melissa Brown at seven, Sarah Carter at six, Briar Willis at six, Rebecca Bennett at six, Laura Bowser at six, Angela Kalp at six, Carrie Blasco at six, Brianne Schaefer at six, Aunt Alicia Black at six, Nicole Gentry at six, Tabitha Austin at six, Amber Weiss at six, Jade Emhoff at six, Holly Malone at six, Stephanie Karchner at six, Elise Hommel at six, Genia Shawl at six, Tabitha Smithers at six, Brittany Albert at six, Maya Miller at six, Elise Mutzabal at six, Jackie Harmon at six, Brianna Stewart at six, Marie Fry at six, Lauren Penrose at six, Allison Haberman at six, Vanessa McLaughlin at six, Ashley Roberts at six, Sandra Wafer at six, Christy Dougherty at six, Alicia Smith at uh, five, Stephanie Richardson at five, Michelle Krill at five, Cheryl Isola at five, Katie Tersha at five, Jill Cleek at five, Lindsay Callis at five, Laura Medic at five, and Stephanie Quigley at five. Holy man. Seriously, that is a lot. That is amazing. Okay, guys, so it's a new month. Let's do it all over again because this is this is what sets us apart from everyone else like you are putting in the work you are putting in the effort and it's a pretty amazing feeling to see those numbers they're not just numbers guys it's it's showing that you're changing lives and i love that beachbody gives us this success club thing that we can reach because it's setting a benchmark for ourselves saying okay well if you become a coach if they didn't have this it's like well how many people do i help like what do I even try to do? So setting success club five and 10, you know, they're both benchmarks that you can make on how many people that you want to help. How many lives do you want to change? So whether it's success club five and you're helping three people, or if it's success club 10, you're helping five people. So I love that it's just a way of knowing how many people we're actually helping and supporting through their own health and fitness journey. And 
if you're, if you're trying to build a business, if you're trying to grow a foundation for yourself and you're really wanting to help people, I always say make Success Club 5 non-negotiable, minimum Success Club 5, because it is showing that you're actually doing something. And a way that I like to work my business, I do take a lot of notes. I, I always think I'm really unorganized, but I'm starting to think I'm not as organi not as unorganized as I thought because I do keep track a lot of what I do with my business. So we have a go for no sheet and it's actually in, if you go click on photos in Forever Fit, you would be able to find it, but I can actually, I think I can make it a file. But this is what our go for no sheet looks like. I love to use this because it's easy for me to see all of the names that I'm talking to and in conversation with, who I'm inviting to this journey, whether it's in a challenge group or coaching. So you'll see that this is for the new month. So you'll see that when I write their names, I have lots of notes everywhere. So like a lot of them, I'll say it was a Wufu application that I got. So I know where I found them. This one says Instagram. Um, this one says like page. This one says coaching. This one says challenge group and what kind of like at 22 hardcore. So I really like to use this because it's easy to see if I haven't heard back from anyone, I'll go through that list of names and I'll try to catch up with them. I'll go on their Facebook and give them a little attention, show, give them value onto their Facebook page and just show that I care. So it's a really good way just to keep track of who you're talking to. Um, and another thing that I did want to mention real quick before I forget is another way that I am keeping track, and this is not just who I'm talking to, but keeping track of my business. We have a business activity tracker. It's something that Beachbody talks about all the time. It's a, it's a tracker for your business. And when people are trying to grow a business, if you look at any, any business that is growing and building they have a way, they have a tracking system. So basically this business activity tracker is just our way of tracking how, how we're doing, what we are doing, what we're not doing. So then at the end of the week, you can actually go back and reevaluate. Okay, uh, you know, my numbers don't look good here. What did I miss? Or what can I improve on? Or what did I do really good with that I need to maintain that consistency? So this is what um, my business activity tracker looks like. It's probably a jumble mess to you guys. Um, Beachbody has one. I actually made my own because I really like to include my social medias that I use so I can stay consistent with it. Don't look today. I realize I've only posted on Facebook once today. I'm going to fix that. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> that never happens. But this it's seriously a great way to just keep track of what you're doing and it keeps you accountable. It's just like a challenger in a challenge group. You tell them to keep track of what they're eating, whether they want to have a food journal. Same thing with your business. You want to have, you want to have some kind of journal or something written on what you're doing. Um, and this is, this is not something I'll ever make you guys do. This was my decision to do it for myself. I actually posted in my personally sponsored page today that I, I talked to corporate on a weekly basis with Beachbody and I asked my, my corporate manager, I guess I should say my mentor last week when I talked to him, I said, I, w I really want to go back to the basics because I feel like that's how I grew my business. That is how I became successful is I stuck with the basics and I just did those things that everyone tells you to do, like invite, 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 do your personal development, be a product of the product. So, so I, I said, I want to keep myself accountable. I want to start giving you my business activity tracker again every week because it's something that I used to do when I was going from just, you know, starting my business as a coach to when I went diamond to when I went five star and then I kind of let that go a little bit. I still tracked it like with my go for no sheet or my binder, but this just makes a difference for me. I really, it, for me, it helps. It really keeps me on track every single night. I look at my day. Okay. What did I do here? I see there's not a lot of numbers. I'm not going to bed until I finish these three invites or until I do my 15 minutes of my personal development. So I see what's in front of me and basically I make it non-negotiable that I'm not going to bed until I get it done. And I have found when I see it physically on a piece of paper that I get more done and I am more successful. So 
if you guys want to do the go for no sh or the business activity tracker, it's going to help you. If you can take it the extra step and ask your upline coach to keep you accountable, do it together. That's going to be even better for you in your business. It's not like no one wants to be your mother or babysitter. That's not what any, anyone's trying to do. I just know that it helps me and I want you to benefit from it too. So that's all I got to say about the business activity tracker. <laughs> All right, next I do want to touch base here. Super Saturday, there are Super Saturdays all over the U.S. and Canada. Please make sure that you go into your back office under um, events and training and events, and then you'll see Super Saturday. You can actually put in your area code and find your local event. It'll tell you how many miles it is. Um, but these events are what is going to help motivate you with your business. Whether you're a brand new coach or whether you've been a coach for a year or two and you're just hanging in there like, I don't, I'm not sure what I want to do, go to a Super Saturday and see what it does for you. It's absolutely amazing. There's always someone hosting the event. Sometimes corporate is there. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes they start out small and you have one or two coaches. Sometimes you have 30, 50, 100. But the more people that go, the more it's going to be motivating and, motivating and inspiring for you. So um, my first Super Saturday was actually how I got started with my business. That's how I got motivated. Because when I signed up, I did not work my business for the first two months. I just, I didn't feel that it could take me as far as I wanted to go. I, as a nurse and having kids and building a retirement, I, I felt like I was where I was supposed to be and that being a Beachbody coach couldn't take me further than that. And then I went to a Super Saturday and I, I watched the top coaches, actually Melanie, who is the number one coach in the entire organization, she's my cousin. She is who got me started and I, I went to the Super Saturday, she's the only person I knew and she was a two star at the time. And I just remember sitting in the audience and watching her and Katie Hefner and Nikki Mitten speak, um, who are other top coaches in the company. And it was just really cool to see like normal people like me could actually do something huge with their life and their business for their family. And, and I just took that with me. And ever since that first Super Saturday, January of 2014, 14, 13, 13. I just, I never looked back and, and here I am not even working as a nurse anymore. So it's a pretty amazing feeling to be able to do something cool that you can provide so much for your family and be home with your kids. If that's something that you want to do, um, if you want to retire yourself or a spouse, like, Hey guys, the sky's the limit. No one's going to tell you what you can get paid because what you get paid is based on how many people you help and how many lives you change. So Okay, back to Super Saturday. You should go. It's April 2nd. <laughs> There's one in Pittsburgh. Um, the one in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania is actually April 1st. It's a Friday. Am I correct, guys? Beth, I see you. Okay, perfect. So um, Megan just posted information on the team page on that. So if you're close to the Pittsburgh area, um, they have information. If you have an opportunity to drive out to Chambersburg, um, you can come to ours because this is only our second one we're hosting and it's really exciting to be able to build from you know, a, a new place. So like I said, find your area if you are not in Pennsylvania because I know you guys are from all over, but please attend. It's amazing, a lot of fun. Okay, take advantage of your opportunities. I just want to go over the calls here real quick. Um, Beachbody gives us all the tools we need to be successful. Like we have trainings so much and I, not even all the teams get the advantage of having calls like this that we do, but we do have the national wake up call every Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Um, there's a number that you can call in. It's in the back office. It's always under breaking news. When you first sign in, it'll tell you who's on the national wake up call and what they're speaking on, but you'll hear from tons of top coaches, lots of information that will help you build your business. Um, and then we have the dream team calls. I don't know why I don't type my stuff in order. I'm yeah, I'm not organized. You're right. So dream team calls used to be every Monday evening at 9 PM. But Melanie has decided that she wants her family time every night now because she's worked really, really hard for the past four and a half years. 
So she is making her calls on Mondays, I'm pretty sure at 11 a.m. Eastern time. If, if I'm wrong, I will correct that. She hasn't started it yet. I think it's going to start next month. But just a heads up, they will be during the day now. And they are always recorded. So if you miss it and you, you have a job and you have other things going on, you can always catch the recording. And then we have our Forever Fit Calls, which is the call you're currently on, every Thursday, usually at 8.30 p.m. Now, sometimes when we have guest speakers, I try to accommodate them as much as possible. Um, so sometimes we'll have them at 8 o'clock. Most of the time, we'll have them at 8.30. Um, but either way, if you're not able to attend, we will record these as well so you can get the recording and get everything out of it. All right, cool. Um, lastly, I just want to touch base here on the upcoming trainings and events. We do have our Coach Basics starting March 7th. If your upline coach is not running their own Coach Basics, please feel free to join ours. Um, again, it's March 7th. I'm going to make that tomorrow, and I will start adding people in. I did do a post in Forever Fit, so if you – want to get in the group, you can either um, just comment in that or you can send me a message and just say that you want in it or talk to your upline coach and they can let me know, however you want to do it. Um, also, 22 Minute Hardcore is our newest program that was just released on the 1st. And so far, I'm hearing amazing things about it. This is prob this is like a huge hit. This is almost as, as big as a 21 day fix. Um, the fact that it's only 22 minutes long is very helpful for people because everyone has that time restraint. Everyone's giving the objection of, I don't have enough time. Guys, anyone has enough time for 22 minutes. So talk this up. This is a perfect opportunity. It has great modifications to it. So literally, it's for everyone. It is for anyone, beginner, intermediate, advanced. It's all on what you want to make it. Um, and with a challenge pack, you do get a sandbag, which is pretty darn cool. So take advantage of this new release. Um, there's no reason why if you're inviting three people every day minimum that you can't find at least three people to help this month, especially with the new program. Um, next, I, we are going to come out with a Shakeology training. I'm not sure if it's going to be a seven-day group or a 10-day group. And the announcement of when it will start will come out as soon as I find out the exact date. I want to say it's starting Monday, which I know is short notice. But it's a quick little group just to give you some extra education on how we talk about Shakeology. And I think more so of just getting familiar, familiar yourself with it because – I don't feel like we research enough about Shakeology. And since it is our number one product, and it's completely amazing because, guys, nutrition is 80%, 70 to 80% of your results. We must talk up Shakeology and how, how it helps us and how it helps with people's nutrition. So many people are willing to spend money on fast food and their unhealthy snacks. So I think if we can just show the importance of it and what it actually does for us, we can help people realize when we get the cost objection, okay, it's really not that bad. It's actually replacing what you're already eating. It's not adding an extra expense. It's, it's replacing what you're already spending. So we'll get more details on that. Um, Summit Nashville 2016, it's going to be the last week of July. Um, please make sure you are getting registered. I think it's going to be sold out by now. Unless you are a new coach, you will earn your free ticket with Success Starters. That means if you just signed up and you hit Success Club 5 for your first three months of your business, you will earn your free ticket. Now, this month, I'm pretty sure I should be putting 2017 because I think the deadline hit for this year's summit. Um, it is like a $300 value. So if you are starting this month and you, you hit Success Club, you're going to have your free ticket for next year, which is really awesome. And then lastly, I just want to put a bug in my personally sponsored coach's ear that I am going to be having a Diamond Leadership Retreat Last year, we did the Poconos in Pennsylvania, and it was a lot of fun. It was very nice to have, like, a little seclusive place where we can just get to know each other and hang out. I am doing it a little bit different this year because we are going to Destin, Florida, and we are teaming up with Melanie and a couple of her elite coaches, a few of her elite coaches. So we're all going to have houses within, like, a seven, nine-minute radius of each other. Um... And it's going to be September 14th through the 19th. And I am going to have some requirements. So anyone who is looking to 
go to something really, really cool and get to network with other top coaches and leaders and just get to know each other. I really want you guys to be there. So please make sure you must be diamond. I will have a deadline. It's going to be sometime in August. I have to set a date for that. Also, team leader, make sure you are working towards that leadership ladder. If you are not familiar with the leadership ladder, please make sure you are looking in the back office because it is all over the place. Um, but at least set that date aside, and I will be coming out with more information. All right. Um, I think, oh, one more thing that I did want to mention. I don't know who has things going on this weekend, but on Saturday, I am going to be doing a live power hour. Um, I know it's on a Saturday, and I know a lot of people have lives. I, I don't, so I'm going to do a power hour at noon on Saturday. So if you guys would like to join me, um, I will post a link in the team page. So whoever wants to, more than welcome to. I think I'm going to do it a little bit differently and just kind of like not, not have anything specifically set. I'm just going to go by – this is what I do. Let's all do it together. And maybe I can even show you guys what I'm going to do, or I can help you do something. Um, so I think it'll be fun. Very laid back. You could be in your pajamas. You can have a glass of wine, whatever you want to do. But we're going to do a power hour, and it's going to be fun because that is part of building our business. And the more power hours you do, the easier it's going to get. The habits you're going to create is just, it's going to help you be more consistent with your business. So Saturday at noon. All right, does anybody have any questions? Did I really just talk for 30 minutes? <laughs> hey, did I miss something? I thought it started at 8.30. Oh, my gosh. That's my mom. She would do that. She doesn't pay attention, but I'm glad everyone else did. You, I was getting my hair done. You know that. You didn't say anything to me. I even talked to you on the phone, and I said, I'll see you at 8.30, and you never said a word. No, I didn't hear you say 8.30, and you got your hair done earlier this afternoon. And Deidre, I called you when I got home. It was like, are you like, on my team call? I'm muting you. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> if you sign up your mother as a coach and she works the business, make sure she doesn't argue with you on your team calls. <laughs> All right, cool. I am so sorry I talked for that long, but hopefully you got something out of it. So now we're going to let Ashley talk. <laughs> Ashley, go ahead. I already introduced you, so. Oh, wait. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Perfect. Sorry, guys. I'm the early bird. That's why we had the call at 8. Um, I'm a runner, as Deidre said, and I live in Kentucky. And we run um, between 4 a.m. and 4.30 in the morning almost every day. So I go to bed usually by 7.30 every night. Um, so um, thank you all for having me tonight. And I do things totally different. I know that you all are focused on the 21-day fix and the workout programs and 30 minutes a day. Um, but when I joined Shakeology, it was because someone gave me a taste of the shake. I was training for a marathon. I was running 50 to 60 miles a week. Um, no one really approached me in the right way. They would read my blog and they would say, why do you want to run for two or three hours when you can just do a 30 minute workout and drink the shake? And I would reply back with, you don't get it. You didn't read my blog. You don't understand. Like I want to run 26.2 miles and I want to do it well. And I just had a baby at that point. So, um, so I was working really hard. I wasn't losing weight. I felt like I was kind of gaining and I was like, this is crazy. I'm running so much. So I would burn 1800 calories. Let's face it. I would eat 1800 extra calories. So my nutrition was off. So my friend and I, we, um, tried some Shakeology that she had in her garage and we, liked it. And so I decided that I was going to sign up after I had done it for about two weeks um, with her supply. And I signed up under a friend and I was a coach and I told her if I got results, then I would share those results. But I didn't want to be like a billboard for Shakeology because I am a photographer. So 
when I lost 25 pounds or 20 pounds, when I lost 20 pounds and I had just completed my marathon, I wrote a blog about it. And I wrote about how it was so important and it gave me energy and it made my running a lot easier. It made me run faster um, because when you're lighter, your body feels different. Um, my weight wasn't affecting my feet. When I was training for the marathon, I had blisters. My toenails were peeling off. Um, my weight was just really, really heavy on my poor feet. And I didn't realize how important that was because I didn't want to be skinny, and that's still not my goal. My goal is to be strong. I want my kids to look at me and be like, my mommy is strong. And I want my runner friends to look at me and be like, dang, her legs are strong. And that's, those are the compliments that I have been getting. And I share that story through my blog and with accomplishments of running fast 5Ks, running fast 10Ks. So that's three miles, six miles half marathons, marathons. Um, so when Christmas was starting and all of my friends were complaining about overeating and they said, Ashley, just give us some of that Shakeology. And I would say, you know what? We get together once a month. Why don't you come over to our group workout? And they were like, you're going to let me try it. And I said, sure, why not? So before I know it, I've got these ladies doing size in my um, living room and we would make shakes. We'd make like three or four different flavors and we would giggle and our kids would play. So it became a play date and then they would sign up and then they would ask me about, <clears throat> well, could you run like a group where we try to lose weight and maybe the winner wins a lot of money or something like that? So then it, they were the ones kind of controlling how our group went. So what I did was I, I didn't post on Facebook like, hey, do you want to lose weight? Hey, do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? Shakeology is great for you. It's great for running. You know, do the 21-day fix. I personally have never done the 21-day fix. I will probably not ever do it. I have no interest in it. I gave my friend my containers. Um, I just... I like to eat. I eat pretty well balanced. I do 80% healthy and 20% crap. And that's, that's kind of where I lie. And it's, it's a really good balance for my family and for myself. And we've seen results in our family. So how do you market if you're not posting 21 day fix workout done, you know, and you know, do your dirty 30 and do this and do that. And this workout's on sale. I don't say any of that ever on my Facebook page. If you look on my Facebook page, you might see my blog. Um, people would ask me like, Ashley, how did you lose all that weight? And I'll say, oh, I do Shakeology and I run, you know, and I watch what I eat. Like that's what I would say in general conversation. Well, lately I have a lot of friends who say, you know, my New Year's resolution is to lose 10 or 15 pounds. So right before New Year's, I came up with a blog of what my goal was and what I was going to do. And those were to be more intentional, to be more intentional with my time, my family, my eating. And in that blog, I included information about Shakeology, about running, about running quality, half marathons and marathons. And that's a big part of the community that I'm in. So I'm already with a group of people who want to be healthy because we spend hours together. I mean, some of our runs are three, four, and five hours um, almost every other day. And every weekend, we run 15 to 20 miles together training for marathons. So we have a lot of time to talk. So if they can't run faster than me, they're going to have to listen to what I say. Um, but the, the nice thing is I'm not, I'm not pushy. I always make them bring it up in conversation. And that's what we need to get. We don't need, every picture that you post does not need 100 likes. Because if you look at those likes, what, what are they? Who are they from? Are they from 67 Beachbody coaches that are your friends? That is not going to get you a new customer. That might get you a thumbs up and, you know, lots of love and some comments. That's great. But what are you going to do to get money from that? And that's where I think a lot of people are missing out. I have a lot of friends who are beach body coaches and a lot of them have tried to sign me as a beach body coach right after I had my baby, but none of them said the right things to me. I wasn't looking for a quick fix. So 
how do I get them to sign? Well, I always offer to send them a sample if they're not local, or I invite them to my house to try a shake. And that has worked immensely. Last I think two weeks ago, I um, did some video recordings for uh, for Deidre and Beth so that they could see how I do a group workout at my home. We had 11 people show up and they were working out. Kids were screaming. They were enjoying shakes. I had two ladies sign up from that um, shake taste. I had two ladies with objections from their husbands about the price. Guess what? This Tuesday, they're bringing their husbands, and their husbands are going to work out with us, drink shakes with us, and then they're going to decide. So they're bringing their whole family now over to my house, and then they're going to try it together, and they're going to see the nutrition, they're going to see the value, and we're going to see what it tastes like and what they like, and I can handle the objections right there. The other thing that I did, people were talking about money. Oh, I'm not going to spend this for Lent. I'm not going to you know, spend this in the new year. Well, I just had a blog, and it was called I Failed January. That has nothing to do with anything, right? You're like, well, why, why did you fail? What did you do wrong? So when you click on the blog, you will see that my family spent too much money on groceries, and that included my Shakeology. And we spent like 800 and some dollars in one month, 900 and some dollars in one month. There are four of us. We should not be spending that much money on groceries. And I am the person who is in charge of meal planning and packing lunches, making breakfast, you know, everything, the budget. And I just let it go whoosh, out of control. So how did I get it back? Well, I put them on lockdown is what I did. I said, we're going to cut it in half. So we went to $400 a month. So that is like cheap, cheap, cheap for four people. Um, I stay at home and I'm also a photographer. So my schedule is very flexible, but we eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner at home all the time. Every once in a while we splurge and go out. So this is a very cheap budget. $115 right off the bat goes to Shakeology. No questions asked. You are like, oh my God, that leaves $285 left. What is she eating? And okay, look in your pantry. What's left over? What's not expired? What meals are you actually going to make? You have to sit down and make a plan. And then you have to actually put your plan into action. And why are all these steps important? And how the heck do you sell Shakeology out of this? Is because you're showing people what you can do. It's $115 a month, but that $285, we ate crab legs, we had steak, we had cheeseburgers, we had chicken nuggets, we had dippy eggs, you know, we had everything that we would normally have, we just didn't make as much. You don't need 10 chicken nuggets for a five-year-old when you're going to throw seven of them away. So it was making them aware of what they were eating and what they were doing. And now my kids even say, Mom, you have to put a chicken nugget on the waist chart because I dropped it on the ground. So now they're catching on to it and they'll say like, I just want a half a cup of apple juice because I don't want a whole cup of apple juice. So I had so many comments on this blog that I wrote. I had so many hits on this comment that I wrote. And we just had all of these great conversations and I just had, I, I don't know if she signed yet. I tried to check before the call, but it said she was in progress of signing. But a coach, a girl that I run with who she knows that I drink Shakeology, she is very fit. She is very disciplined. She's a very fast runner. She said, Ashley, I want to, I want to do this. I want to be a coach. I want to make the extra income and I want to do what you're doing. Great. I, I never even really talked to her about it ever. I just, something that I said hit that for her. And so she should be signing up within the next couple of days. And then I had another friend of mine who just said to me, Ashley, I am drowning in debt. You are not pushy and I know you're making money. Can you show me how to do this? And I said, yes, I can help you to make money with doing this, with not being an ad. So how are we going to do this? Well, we're sharing our stories. We're sharing our lives. A year ago, I quit my job, a corporate job, 
for Woodford Reserve Distillery. That's a bourbon, in case y'all don't know. Down here in Kentucky, we do bourbon and horses. So I worked for that store for two and a half years, and I took it from $700,000 to $3.5 million the day I walked out the door. So I know how to make money. And I did it quietly, and I did it humbly. And that is, that is how you can do it. I know a lot of you want to instant gratification. Hey, I just got my Shakeology, and you should join me on this journey. And here's a picture of the box. That does nothing for me. That does nothing for 300 of your other friends. And they're like, well, hell, girl, you did not even lose a pound yet, and you want me to be on your team. Like, they don't trust you. And that's what a lot of it is. You have to earn that person's trust because they trust you about their weight. They trust you about their calories. They trust you about their insecurities. And you have to, you have to gain that from them. So you need to have private conversations with them. Um, I had a friend who on social media, she said, my pants do not fit. I do not know what to do. And I'll, 10 girls like this. I sell Shakeology. I shall sell Advocare. I do Weight Watchers. I was like, she's not listening to any of you. So I private messaged her. I said, hey, do you want to grab a coffee tomorrow? And um, she said, yeah. And so we got a coffee. And I said, I'm really sorry about that. I'm sorry that all those people kind of jumped on you. And um, she had actually then she took her post down because I think she got kind of embarrassed. And um, I said, I just wanted to offer to make you a shake and you don't have to like it. You can tell me no, it's okay, it's cool. And she was like, I really wanted to talk to you about that, but I was afraid you didn't want me on your team. I said, why not? Why wouldn't I want you on my team? And she goes, I thought I was just too fat. I said, oh girl, let me pull up my before picture. And here I am on my cell phone. And I said, I was 217 pounds before I ever got pregnant. So I had no excuse except for I just cleaned my plate all the time. Mm -hmm. And so I showed her that and we connected and she trusted me. And she said, well, I want to lose like 40 pounds in two months. And I said, oh, I can't do that. That is not what I'm doing. That's, that's not healthy. And so we came up with a plan and we talked about it and she understood it. She is a runner, um, not, she's a beginner runner. So I don't get to run with her a lot. So we made a plan and we work on it together and we check in together because we run at different paces. I don't always get to talk to her every day, but we always try to have coffee once a week after we run. And that's where these conversations are growing and people are hearing what we're speaking about and then they want in on the action too. And so that's how we're growing our business down here in Kentucky, our little portion of the Forever Fit team and Beth's team. Um, we are just really coming together and it's, it's play dates, it's moms, it's, you know, connecting with people that you see every single day. The biggest thing I can tell you is do it short. You know, you want to put like, oh my goodness, I didn't think I could ever work at home. You know, this, I had so many challenges and then I did Shakeology, but now, you know, it's like this changed my life. It's this whole paragraph. I mean, it is so long, but it is the cutest picture of you and your baby and your laptop and your shake and you're all like, cheese. And that is a cute picture. And people love that picture, but they don't want to read all your crap. So what you should do is put like, if you're holding your Shakeology and you're just taking a picture, you're going to be like, cheers, working from home. And then you can put, you know, Beachbody coach or Diamond coach or whatever. And people will be like, well, hell, I want to work from home. It's cold outside. So, you know, you don't know what's going to catch somebody's eye, but you know that when you have 75 likes, you don't want 70 of those likes to be beach body coaches. You want them to be other people. You want to engage other people. Um, you know, you want to get your, in, you know, your affinity up with your um, algorithm of Facebook. So you're posting different things. And that's something that I really understand is um, just how that works. And you want to post, um, because I do photography, I have a very successful photography business. And my husband's like, 
you know, your blog says a &H photography and you're telling people how to live on a budget. You're telling people what they need to eat. And I mean, you are one sassy girl. And I was like, okay, well, it's all going to make sense here in a minute. And he's like, well, what do you mean? And I'll tell him, you know, I, I love that people are so excited and they want to post right away. But if you don't have any results, like what are you going to show for it? So for me, my clients are getting ready to, my busy season is about to start. I work with a ton of brides and a ton of families. And when they ask me to Photoshop their faces and take away their double chins, I say I can't do it. It is unethical for me and what I believe. And I do stand by that. I do not do it. Um, and I had a conversation with a bride and I said, why don't you try something different? And she said, what's that? And I said, why don't you try some Shakeology? And she was like, oh, I've heard of that. So now I'm incorporating my Shakeology into my photography business because I am working with brides. I do work with new moms. I do a ton of um, newborn photography. And those moms sit there with those bellies and they're like, did they forget to take out a baby? I mean, they are just, you know, like, I see them within like three days to four days of birth because I need to capture their little one. So I have a lot of potential to grow this business. And a lot of times people will say to me at a photo shoot, how do you keep up with all these kids? And I said, I just, I just have a little jar of energy here in my car and I drink it before I get out. And they're like, what are you talking about? And I'm just like, oh, just my shake. And then I'll always be like, do you want some? And I do always have packets in my car just in case. But so what should I say now to get my photography clients interested? Well, that's what I'm going to write about. Very soon a blog is going to come out about fitness and photography and how they go together and how that's a huge part of my life and how I've helped some clients to achieve fitness results to make their pictures even better. And I do have a client who is willing, um, she's been doing the Shakeology. She was my customer for about four months and she just transitioned to coach. And um, now she's working on, her husband won't do it and that's okay because he's, he loves to eat crap and we make fun of him for that. But that's okay because that's him and that's what he likes and someday he'll change his mind. But we're going to do these awesome mom pictures of her looking just hot and lean with these little babies and kind of a before and after from what I photographed last year to what I photograph now. And then you're going to see how fitness and photography, they do go together. And because when you feel beautiful, you want your picture taken. When you are comfortable in the clothes that you're wearing to photo shoot, you're going to interact with your child more. So if there's a way to incorporate what you do in your everyday life, you know, that's what you should be doing. So if I'm doing Shakeology and I am getting my hair done or my nails done or something like that, I might have on, you know, what it is that I love. Like I always wear a running shirt. I think I have a running shirt on now from the marathon because I'm so proud that I ran a marathon. I've only done one so far, but I've got another one planned for um, October. And that's another thing. Marathons are expensive. Travel is expensive. I made a commitment to my husband that we were going to the Baltimore Marathon and we were paying with that with Shakeology. And he's like, oh my God, we're going to stay in a dump. And I'm like, no, <laughs> thanks for your faith in me, right? So no, we love to travel, swanky hotels, go all out, love big cities. Um, and that's going to be a blog. That's going to be like, what job fits your lifestyle on the go as almost a second income to pay for race registrations? Because a lot of my friends are like, how can I pay for race registrations? Oh my gosh, I'm running 50 states and it's, you know, I mean, they spend $10,000 a year on running races and traveling, which is a lot of fun, but it can cost you a lot of money. So what you need to do is just figure out what it is that you do, what what activities do you do with other people? Are there other moms in your life? Are you at dance class? Are you at gymnastics? Where are you? Who are you connecting with? And can you invite them over for a play date? Can you um, invite them out for coffee? Well, Ashley, all of my friends are on the internet. I have got to tell them this long paragraph with a really cute picture. And you know what? They like your picture. They have no idea what the hell you just said. Nothing. They don't know. They didn't read it. 
Um, and a lot of times I'll click somebody's picture that I like it and they'll say, they'll send me a message and they'll say, hey, you, you like that. Did you want to be on my team? That's what it said. And, I, and I'll tell them, oh, I didn't read it. I thought your picture was cute. And then they go, oh, well, why didn't you read it? And I would say, well, it's 10 pages long and I do not have time for that. So you have to know your audience. So if you can get just a few words, like if your whole family drinks Shakeology, you could all get in a selfie with your shakes and you just you take your selfie and then you're going to say cheers and then hashtags are so popular right now you could hashtag shakeology you can hashtag beachbody coach you can hashtag you know mine is run like a mother because that's what my blog has been um you can do working from home whatever it is something cute and just people will respond to that so i challenge you guys to Figure out a way to shorten some of those posts because some of them are really great looking pictures and really great results that you don't need all of these little checklists that a lot of you may be guilty of. I don't look at those, so I don't hope no one's wanting me to make any of those. But write about it in a way that's going to make people capture it or put a video. I love watching the videos. Um, I know we're getting close on time because Deidre took up a lot of my time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she said she's going to give me a quick intro and then I could talk, but that's okay. Just kidding. But um, I also do my challenge groups very differently. And I'm just going to spend like two minutes just telling you what I do for my challenge groups. So I have one group. It's all support. It's general support group. Um, and that's anyone who's actively purchasing for me. They're in there. They get support. Um, and then uh, the other challenge group that I have, they wanted to win money. So whenever they do that, I made it a 60-day group because I want two orders of Shakeology from them. Do you know why? Because they have to do it every single day for two months they're going to fall in love with it. They fall in love with the product. You're getting that reorder. You're getting that commission. And eventually they'll trust the shake enough to sign as a coach. And I've had quite a few coaches transfer over if I don't know who can see what, but if you look in my back office, you'll see that my customers are becoming my coaches, which is great. When I sign somebody with a challenge pack, what I do. Um, so when these folks leave my house or we have a conversation, whatever, I'll say, hey, I just emailed you a link. It has your, your PIO is, or size. Those are two great exercises that I recommend for runners because they're very, um, they're very different than running. So they offer a lot of flexibility training for runners. So if you have any runners, you know any runners, PIO is fantastic and size is a runner up because of the abs and the core work. Um, 21 day fix I would stay away from just because of the calorie counts and actually how much time we spend working out. So I send them that, the link with their shake and their, um, their workout, and I tell them, this link is going to expire in 48 hours. So I will check back in with you, and if you have not purchased within 48 hours, I'm going to have to resend it to you so that, you know, that it stays active. Otherwise, I'm going to have to send it to somebody else because I have more people waiting to be on my team. You guys are like... That's a lie, Ashley. It makes them make a decision and it doesn't waste my power hour because when I do my power hour, I do it three 20 minute segments. I do 20 minutes in the morning at lunch and at nighttime. I do not have time to check in with you 4,700 times in a week to beg you to buy Shakeology. So I check in within 48 hours and I'll say, Hey, Angie, um, you haven't used that link yet, and I have a girl who wants to use it. Um, should I send it to her, or are you still interested? And she'll be like, well, I'm not sure. Let me talk to my husband. He gets home at 7. I said, great. I'll check in with you at 8 o'clock before I go to bed, or I'll catch it in the morning after my run. And then she knows I'm going to follow up with her one more time, and that's it. And a lot of times, they either check out or they pass but they've made a decision and that's what we want. We don't want people lingering over our heads. Like, are they interested? Are they not interested? You just want them to make that decision and you want to move on. You either want to grow your business or pass. And I can tell you that a lot of people who have passed have circled back around and said, you know what? I just, I want to try it one more time with you or at your house or whatever, whatever your catch is. And I'll say, great, come on over. And they try it and 
nine times out of 10, they go for it, they buy it. So this Tuesday, I have another um, shake workout. And my girls in my challenge group, my 60 day challenge group, they're trying to win $220. That's what our pot is at. And they all had to invite people to get points to earn. They're inviting people. I'm not inviting people. So they're inviting people to my house and I'm going to either serve as their coach, sign them under one of my coaches to boost them to Emerald or whatever their preference may be. So that's how we do a lot of our team building. So I would recommend if you can, without writing like a huge paragraph like this long, is to see like who wants to win some money and then like post a picture of like $500 because I actually just won $500 in this coach challenge group that we paid into locally here and did. And uh, I'm super excited to be the winner and I'm going to post that. But um, I got to figure out what I'm going to spend my money on that's really going to like provoke people and be like, ooh, I want in her next challenge. Um, but my winner from my group, they're going to be posted um, next Friday. So and try, try not to post a lot on Saturday and Sunday because people are not on there. So you're not going to get the reach that you want. My biggest tip is going to be Monday morning before 10 a.m. That's when a lot of people are doing it. And Wednesday afternoon between two and five, that's when people are really dawdling at work and they're really like scrolling their Facebook. Thursdays, um, a lot of people like the throwback thing, so they are on more Thursdays now. But um, Saturday and Sunday, I would stay away from that if you have something that you really want people to come to or you're inviting them, your call, um, your call to action. So is our call going to just expire automatically or how does that work? No, I paid good money to have it unlimited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I know it's, uh, sometimes calls get cut off, so I wasn't sure how that works. We're good, because we know how much I like to talk. I can't have it expire. <laughs> I, I moved my run to 5 a.m. tomorrow so I could stay up late. You're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to tell you more about how the, the money challenge group works? Like, are you all interested in that? Can you touch base on that real quick? Sure. Okay. So we have our, um, I have nine girls who are in the group and they all pay $25 to be in the group. It's a 60 day challenge group. They must be doing Shakeology and um, so that gives me two orders of Shakeology from each of them. And then they earn points each day. So it's not based on the total amount of weight that they lose. They have to earn points. And then the person who loses the highest percentage of body weight will get 20 points. That does not make them the winner. But if their points are close enough, that's going to make one person win over the next person. So again, we do this for 60 days. We get the two orders of Shakeology. I never started on the first day of the month because I want them to end kind of mid-month so that maybe they'll get a third order of Shakeology. So this is about making money. So then I keep track. It's real specific. And actually, my daughter ripped the, the front page here that I taped back together. So this is somebody's weight sheet. So I have one sheet for each person. It's just, it's, this is my shake notebook. I write down what their current weight is and what their goal weight is. Now we're not trying to lose 40 pounds in two months. We want to be safe um, because you don't want somebody to get sick or hurt. And, and I'm not a doctor. So I don't want to give people like bad information, but I feel like two to three pounds a week is really good depending on what you're doing um, for running sometimes it's hard for us to lose two pounds a week it's just it's really really hard because a lot of them need a lot of carbs so um, a couple of them are trying to do the 21 day fix and they're finding out it's um, not enough calories so that's good information for you to know as well because if you have people who run they're gonna need extra calories especially carbohydrates and protein so each week I post a leaderboard and I give them points for things that they do and on my each day I call out so I control what they have to do and they have to post in the comments. So for example, tomorrow is Flex It Friday and I'm going to Cincinnati to the aquarium with my family and I don't want to be bothered with a lot of questions. So I know, right? Like she wants a day off. 
Um, so I will post Friday, Flex It Friday. So they're all doing a selfie, you know, with their arm or their calf muscle because they're runners. So we try to build our legs. So they'll do one of those. Um, and then I'm going to say, surprise, weigh in. So they will all private message me or text me their weigh in. When they weigh in, every time, we always do it on a Monday, it's once a week. So when they weigh in, they give me um, their weight and they get 10 points. If they gain weight, they get, they get two points subtracted per pound. If they lose weight, they get two points per pound that they lost. And that is big because sometimes if they lose the points, they're like, I don't want to lose points. And I said, if you don't want to weigh in, you just pay me $5. And that $5 goes to the pot. So then our pot starts adding up. Well, tomorrow, I can tell you our pot's probably going to go up about $25 because these girls <laughs> have been pigging out on donuts. Because um, I can see what they're posted because today I said, I want you to take pictures of everything that you ate today, snacks, breakfast, shakes. I want pictures of it. And they usually do like, you know, those cute little frames and that, you know, it's like one post. So it's not overwhelming for me to like for notifications. Um, and three of them ate donuts. And I said, first of all, y'all cheated and I did not give you a cheat day because I'll call out a cheat day. And second, I wanted to go to get donuts today and they were, they were like, well, Ashley, you were saying I was sick yesterday. I was, I had the stomach bug or whatever. Um, and so they, that's why they didn't invite me. And I said, you always invite your coach. I don't know who said that, but you always invite your coach. But, um, so I have fun with them, but every day it's something different and I'll do off scale victories. Those are so important because one girl posted, I could not get these pants over my rear end to save my life a month ago. And today she's like holding them out. She's like, I'm swimming in them. I can't even wear them, you know? So, so it's really cool to see them and then you can see the confidence. And so then they feel, they feel beautiful. They feel safe. They feel secure. You're giving these women all of these opportunities to be better than what they ever thought they could be. So it's not even, about weight loss, you know, it's about friendship. And a lot of them, a lot of them I run with or have run with, but like two of them are in Pennsylvania. One of them is in Louisville. The rest of us are in Lexington. So we're different distances and you can see their friendships growing and they're adding each other as friends on Facebook and just like, oh my God, your kids are beautiful or this or that. So they're supporting one another. And they're, um, one girl said, um, you know, Ryan, you would be a great coach. Look at your results. You're, you're doing great. And she just had a baby in December and she's doing fabulous. And, um, I saw that. So I just wrote on our group workout, um, post, I said, anyone who signs as a coach by February 28th gets 10 extra points. Well, you better believe she signed up and she became a coach. So that's how you can even market within those groups of people that you know are working really hard. They want to lose or they want to lose the weight. They want to feel better and they want to win 200 and some dollars, whatever we, you know, end that. Um, but you just don't know what's going to attract people. And I felt like that one really attracted a lot of people because we started January 10th. And so we end it, we'll end on March 10th and we'll probably start another one in April to actually be like beach ready. Um, but for us as runners, we are always training for like the next marathon and spring is heavy half marathon and marathon time. So they're all trying to lighten up to run faster. So it's all about knowing your audience. Um, what questions do you all have? Can I just say, damn, girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that was good. That was, that was amazing. Thank you. And I just wanna say, what sets you apart from everyone is your confidence. Completely, <laughs> like, you are, you approach it with such like confidence that like you are, you attract so many people just with that. I love it. That was amazing. 
And just the way you share your story and that you're you're okay not talking about every single workout program because it, it's going to work for somebody. Like it doesn't have to be like that. You focus on the nutrition and you keep with you. You keep with who you are. You're not trying to be somebody different. And I love that. Don't try to be someone that you're not. Be yourself and attract your target audience because you will have people relate to you. Love it. Thank you. And I do write stories and I'm still sticking with them. <laughs> and I'm not going to read all of them, but you I do read some them. of them. You won't read it, but if you, if you like it, I know that. <laughs> I'm going to put like, didn't read it. <laughs> I love it. That was so good. Do you guys have questions? <clears throat> Got a lot of comments there. I, I love the, the whole problem. I have a question. I have a slight problem with telling them that, I mean, I did this and said the link expired, but who's to say they're just not going to click on the link and then they're going to think you lied to them. Then they won't sign up at all. They'll go to somebody else. Well, I just think it depends on really how you say it. And honestly, if I send it at the end of the month, they really do have the 48 hours. That's where I, that's when I started using that. Yeah, I use it mostly at the end of the month. I do, absolutely, or when I'm trying to meet a specific goal because I tell them that the price is, is supposed to change. And that's true, it is supposed to change. Yeah. So if someone thinks like, hey, you lied to me, this link still works, and you say, oh, did it really? The price was supposed to change on the 16th and today is the 17th. I can't believe you still got it for that price, you know? I mean, lucky you, just change it around and tell them like, it was supposed, you got a note. <laughs> I mean, you <laughs> But the thing is, though, seriously, like, Beth, you kill me. <laughs> She's, like, falling out of her chair. Seriously, but I love you. <laughs> you just need to just, just own it. Be like, are you kidding me? That is supposed to expire. I can't believe you got it for that price. <laughs> you know, but you need to make, you need them to make decisions. So it has to be either, you know, you want to be on my team or you don't. You have the money or you don't. You want to spend the money or you don't. And a lot of times, my mother signed up. Oh my God, she drops me crazy, right? So, I can relate. <laughs> she will say, Ashley, I can't even turn the blender on. And I'm just like, forget it. It's like, forget it. So she has her friend at work. Um, she, her friend at work contacted me and she was like, I'd really like you to be my coach. And I said, I will only be your coach if you make my mother her shake every day for lunch at work. And so she laughed and I was like, I'm serious. And so she is. So every day at lunch, sometimes I plan for breakfast, but um, poor Christine has to make my mother her shake to be on my team because I'm just like, I cannot deal with her anymore. I'm not that bad, am I, Deidre? <laughs> Everyone just heard you yell at me on my call. <laughs> the fact that you can open a call is probably a step above where my mom could do. So, and she's a regular customer and she won't do home direct because she's afraid someone will steal her identity. So I have to remind her when she's my mom and dad are that way. <laughs> so it's, it's, you know, it's crazy. Moms are crazy. I'm a mom. So I guess I'm crazy too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I would just own it. And I would just say, are you kidding me, girl? That was supposed to be sold out or that price was changing. Like I just told my friend today, I said, hey, that size is not on sale. So you're going to have to get Pio unless you, you know, don't want to do it at all. I said, you need to let me know because I've only got so many to send out. And she goes, okay, I'll do it tomorrow night. And I was like, whatever. And I'll see her 10 times between now and then. So I, and I won't bring it up. That's the other thing. I don't bring it up. If I see them and I'm running with them, they'll be like, uh, so I forgot to sign up. Can you resend me that link? And I'll be like, oh, again. I'll say, all right, by what time are you going to do it? Because I'm not sending it 10 more times. And I'll tell them that. And they'll say, all right, well, I will do it today after work. And I'll say, all right, text me when you get home from work. So you know, but you should be also talking with people that you have good relationships with so that they do trust you and they understand your personality too. Because my friends know, like, it is no nonsense here. It is like, 
don't waste my time. Like I tell my kids that I tell my husband that like, don't waste my time. Don't tell me your lies. Did you break the cover? And my son will say, my sister broke it and I felt bad and I tried to fix it. Okay. I can live with that. But this big, long story, you're wasting my time. And that's how our customers are too, because why would you waste 45 minutes of your power hour connecting with somebody who is, I had somebody do that and they went and signed with another coach. Oh, that made me so mad. And because they're best friends. And now they both asked to be in my support group. And you know what I told them? For $50 a month, I will let you be in my support group. And guess what? They both paid it. Dang. Dang. Oh my so God. I said, okay, be in my support group. But if they, I said, I send them a bill via PayPal. And if they don't pay it, they get kicked out of the support group. I'm telling you. And in that group, I share recipes and tips and you know, workouts and things like that. So that's what, that's what, we got a lot going on. Here. I seriously listen to you all day long. <laughs> we have a lot of fun. That is hilarious. <laughs> what other questions do you have? How to make money. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> When you said you collect money from everybody, is it from all the challengers that are in the group when you do the money one? Yes, they all pay. Uh, yes, they all pay via PayPal. Um, and then the and PayPal holds it. So you don't even have to touch it until your challenge is about over. So you can either send it electronically or if the went to the winner, or you can cash it out to your bank account and hand it to the winner, depending on distance, obviously. Um, uh -huh. So I just let that add up, add up, add up. And every time somebody says, I am not stepping on that scale, I say, all right, give me $5. And they'll send their $5 and then I'll just post how much um, money is in the pot. The other day I took um, $220 out of the ATM and I just lined it up in 20s and I took a picture and I said, who wants to win this? And they were all like, oh my God, how do we get points? And I said, we're having a group workout on Tuesday. Who are you all inviting to my house? And they invited 42 people to my house. And I'm like, I hope they do not all come. <laughs> but they get excited because they want to win the money. They're losing weight. The challenge is over next Thursday. And some of them are like one point from the other. So it's going to go with whoever loses the most weight, I think. So are these people that all live close by you? No, two of them are in Pennsylvania and um, a majority of them do live in Lexington and then uh, one girl lives in Louisville, which is about an hour and a half. So we're a little bit all over. Okay. My niece lives in Lexington. Kirsten. Does she know Kirsten? Kirsten Schuster? I don't think so. No. Do you know how many people live in that area? Yeah, this is true. It's pretty big. <laughs> Yes, they do. Jennifer asked me, do they have to buy the Shakeology? Yes, they do have to be um, using Shakeology from me to be in the challenge group. And I'm telling you, don't do 21 days. Don't do 30 days. Do 45 days. Do 60 days. Don't check in all day long. Um, let them, once you get the flow going of your group too, you'll post what they're supposed to do and then you'll just see they're talking to each other in the comments. They're posting their selfies. They're doing everything themselves and they're kind of becoming coaches. So then they're getting the confidence that, oh my gosh, I could do this. And then you're like, great, let's sell you a challenge pack to be a coach. And then you've got that other sale and then you have a coach and then you just start lining them up. And that's what Beth has been helping me to do is line up my coaches where I need them to be so that I can have an emerald um, on each side because I need to be a diamond. And do I get to go to Florida? Because I think the way I read it, I don't get to go. Actually, Beth is including her personally sponsored coaches. <laughs> oh, right. So if you are Diamond, <laughs> <laughs> there, there are a few um, coaches mm -hmm. who, there, there's a couple coaches who have a good bit of coaches who are Diamond, so they're doing their own. And there are a few coaches who, who do have a few 
coaches underneath them that will be diamond that do want to be included in that. So I, I did open it to some of our downline. Awesome. awesome. Can I post my point system? Yes, I can. Um, and I can, do you want me to add that in a file? Do you want me, I could probably add a file to the group. I have like a little worksheet that I did. If you can do that, that would be amazing. Thank okay. You. Okay. So guys, if you can get anything taken away from this, work your business and work it with confidence. Like run that shit. All right, guys. <laughs> I swear a lot, huh? <laughs> No, me. I do. You swear? Oh, I didn't know that. I've made it a new. I've made it a new thing. I told Joy. I said, I new qualification to be on my team. You have to want to swear a lot because I swear a lot. Joy swears a lot. Actually, swear a lot. we're like a bunch of drunken sailors on our team. <laughs> I used to be. I've actually gotten so much better. Now I just pray about it. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla's with me too much. Sorry, Kayla. Don't tell people that. I'm I'm getting better. All right. Anybody else want to ask anything before we let her go night night so she can wake up at five a.m. <laughs> I gotta get up at four ten. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Which is late for me. Thank you so much. We really really do appreciate your time. That was an amazing call. Thank you for having me. I hope you guys learned something. I hope.